It's time to continue Silent Hill 4. Oh yes, we are back with a new episode. Here we are. Uh, let's go back to the world of the prison. I think this is, what, episode 6, if I'm correct? Alright, from what I remember we were doing is something about going down a hole so we can unlock something. I... I so we, we've already done that for one of them, uh, but there is also another room that has holes in it, so we're going to go and figure out what we're doing with that. Uh, yeah, look at the map. So yeah, we went through that one, and it led to looking on that floor. Yeah, there we go. We've got... Uh, yeah, I went up there for that. We already did that, didn't we? So yeah, let's drop green... I'm going to go with, I think I know which one it is. It's the one that has a locked door, I think, off the top of my head. Uh, let's go up the stairs. Okay, one more stairs, and then we are here. Which is the floor that we need to be. So yeah, if I'm uh, just going to use the map to confirm. Yeah, I'm going with, uh, okay, running, attacking, yeah, it's been, it's been a little while since I played, so we're just, uh, just familiarizing myself with the, uh, controls. Okay, drop down the hole, I wish you didn't show the cutscene every time, because that's kind of annoying. Can I unlock this door? Uh, okay, will there be a hole in the f in the last one? Yes. And there's enemies! Die! I don't think you're enemies. I'm also going to go through that last hole at the top, I think. Uh, we have dropped into... Holy shit! <sighs> Nope! Goodbye! Ah, uh, there's a locked room. Uh, there is a set of ladders. Uh, that's a shower room. Okay, we can come back here. I want to just drop down that last hole before we do anything else. Okay, we can go down or up. Uh, and obviously we know things circle, so let's just go straight up the ladder. Uh, yeah, now we're about where we were. So, you know what, I'm going to go through that last uh, hole to see where it drops. Uh, I just want to get into that last locked room. And then we'll go up the, that, we'll go and explore where that weird ladder leads that was in where we were. Oh, those enemies really scared me a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Okay. I wasn't expecting them. We went through, yeah, so we've got... We've got this one to go through. It's just past the enemy. Yeah. Oh, that is a bloody bed. Okay, there is a hole in this one. And there's a noose and a note. I'm sick of being watched. Uh, well, apparently we've already been in this room. I must have reacted to that last time. Okay, so we've explored all the rooms we can explore. I'm uh, working on it, dude. Uh, yeah, we wanted to go to that weird room, which is this way. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, go this way. Uh, there is no enemies, thankfully. 
Okay, we're up. Okay. There's a document here. Uh, this place continues to deteriorate. The doors and numbers are no longer open. As the kids inside can no longer go outside, but the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the door from the room. I watch them more and then see each day. Without food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little grey lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we deposited the corpses by digging a hole below the south east. That since each floor of the building can rotate independently, we dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body vertically. Bet you're dying to see the interrogation room behind the police and understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are rooms with bloody beds. One on the first, one on the second, one on the third. If you line those three rooms up, then bingo. Okay, uh, so I've got to line bloody beds up. Okay. There's another whole room. Okay, uh, I think, yeah, I've mapped out the, uh, I've mapped out. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to map out the rooms so I can see what's in them. Uh, okay, so I've mapped out that. But I don't remember seeing a bloody bed. Where is the bloody bed on this floor? Is that it? There's the newsroom. That's glorious to see. Hi guys. Oh, there's the bloody bed. It's that one. Yes, it's that one. Okay, I, I see what you mean by line up the bloody beds. Uh, go up. Another memo. Um, keep a close eyes on the kids and plan to keep the cell while it the lights on the third floor originally bought in the searchlights as a precaution against the blackout that was set up to run on private generators. There is a hydroelectrical generator in the basement to light up the first and second floors used to corpse shoots. Uh, since each floor in the building can rotate, you can light up any of the cells by matching the holes, repeating, repeating this periodically in an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well behaved. If you turn the handle in the middle of the room, you can easily rotate each cell. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third with the first floor so that the uh, the, the blood plane beds. By the way, if you use the peepholes, you can easily make sure that you're doing it right. Give us a try. Also, don't forget to open the gates on the roof. Okay, so what I'm saying like is, uh, I've got to line up bloody beds, essentially. Which is, okay, uh, which holes do I need to look in? This one. There is paint. No, that's not relevant. That's not bloody because it's on the floor. I know the, the bloody bed has to actually be bloody. So that's not it. There's some clothes there, which I remember we've been in that room. There's the bloody bed. So we've got the bloody bed. So basically, the grayed out whole one is what needs to line up um, with the one on the first floor. So if I, wait, how far does it turn it when you turn left? Uh, just one. So I need to turn it two more times if I'm correct. So yeah, if I'm correct, if I turn it one more time. Wait, let me just check. Is this the one I'm at? No, that's the opposite side of the room. I just need to check if we are matching. I don't think we're matching the bloody bed yet. I think it's the other hole, but let me just be sure. Yeah, that's not the hole. Uh, that's not the bloody bed yet. Okay. 
I'm just trying to make sure we match the bloody beds. One more turn, and if I'm correct, the bloody beds on the first and second floor should be lined up. Uh, now let's go and double check. The bloody bed should be this one. Yep, bloody bed is over what I believe the bloody bed is on that floor. Uh, now to go up this and make sure that we've lined up all of these. Okay, we've got a note. Uh, 0302. Thanks for the note. Okay, so we need to figure out which one of these is the bloody bed. Oh, that was easy. Uh, if I turn it right twice that should uh, put it in the right place that okay he's out uh, so if I'm, if I'm correct we should have uh, solved this said puzzle now because the three bloody beds line up. I think. Yeah, if I'm correct, the three bloody beds have lined up. Uh, let me just double check that the bloody bed has lined up. So yeah, if I'm correct, this is where the bloody bed is meant to be. And yeah, said bloody bed has lined up. So we should be good, I think. I clicked the wrong one. Uh, so yeah, I th I, if I read it right, you need to line up the bloody the bloody beds. So and I've lined up the bloody beds. Oh, hello. Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. Hello, Andrew. I'm trying to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. That kid Walter. He was really into that mumbo jumbo. Okay. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. Scary. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, well, okay. Wait, ask things. Okay, so I've got to climb back up. So he's out of his cell, and there's nothing in his cell from what we saw. I guess I'm just going up to drop it through this hole that's uh, lined up and something's going to happen? Question mark? Uh, well, we, we lined the bloody beds up, so hopefully some of this works. Like, I'm praying, because I'm confused. Like, we rotated beds. Uh, there's water, like, flowing through chutes. So, yeah, 
Yeah, look, bloody bad. Lined up with bloody bad. Lined up with bloody bad. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, we're, we're at the kitchen door. But yeah, we're, we're in the kitchen. Uh, anything else? Oh, what's that there? Uh, looks like I can't interact, so it's nothing. Yeah, obviously, I'm gonna see if we can. Like, we want to be able to back her out, obviously. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of find it ridiculous that I was stuck on this puzzle for so long and messed like so much of it up. But yeah, we can't interact with anything. Uh... Oh, there's a cafe. Yeah, we... Great. Uh, no, wait, the door was locked, so we need to at least go through to unlock the door so we can actually. There you go. Now we can head back. Uh, 0302, I believe the code was. Holy shit, my hair is wild today. Okay, we have entered the code. Whoa! They're not wrong with a fucking death chamber behind there. We get a cutscene, which basically means there's either going to be a boss fight or we're going to wake up in the world of real life. I am going to go, we're probably going to wake up in real life, real life because it seems to always happen when we have these kind of cutscenes. Oh! Hello! That man is dead! The numbers are counting up one eight one two one. So I've, I've clocked all the numbers so far. They're counting up. This is creepy. Why has every dead person got numbers on them? What is what does all of this mean? Please tell me. Why can't they? Uh, hello. Okay, it's a bit disorientating waking up today. That's a very disorientating uh, wake up. Well, to normal. Five 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 three seven five zero. Three seven five zero. Oh, my God, it works. Okay. No idea what that was, but it definitely wasn't somebody at the bar. This is my bed. No, dude. Okay. What the hell is that? Okay, first off, we're saving. This episode's going very well and I've not messed anything up, but... What? Okay, first of 
first off, there's a note. Let's have a look. I found something extremely effective against the ghost. It saved my life. It stood between future rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle shaped wooden handle on it. Some kind of spell running on it. I've been steady and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change its response to ghosts, particularly to the soldiers and judges. If you don't reduce its power, your attack will repel. Okay. I guess is that's in the bathroom, so we're gonna. Hey, dude, just just walk by. No, just screw you then. Let's go see what my neighbor's doing. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the plate, by the way. I'm assuming I don't need these plates at the moment. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna guess we don't need plates. Uh, let's have. We have a look at our neighbor. Are you doing anything interesting? She's not even there. The bunny has done nothing. Okay, time to go in the bathroom then. Which is obviously where this noise is coming from. What the fuck? And that hole is huge! What is this? It's like... I guess we've got no choice. Let's go! I don't want to die! Fucking hell, this is getting more intense. Does it have to really crawl this whole long hole every time, or does it... Or is it, is it just a visual effect? Oh, where am I? Okay, there's the hole, there's a door. Oh, it's me getting up. Where am I? Okay, at least there's the way back out. Always check. Oh, that's a T. It's literally a door there. Okay, we're on basement one of wherever we are. There's a car. There's a car! And there's a cutscene. I don't know, it's just uh... What is that noise? Okay. Yeah, can, can I, like, you know, search that car? Okay, not gonna lie. Either animals or people are really having very animalistic sex that much. Okay, I was right on saying animal. Okay, am I going into evil versions of real life now? Because that clearly says South Ashfield. 
another cutscene. Ouch! Damn it! Mate! Where the hell am I? <sighs> You're a real person. Wait, is that the super? Or or the neighbor? Hey, it the is! It's the neighbor! Yeah. My name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree. From 207. What the hell's happened to us? Freaking world! But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. That must explain what happened to that other guy too. Uh, what other guy? Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. I'm with you, huh? Watch out for that kid. Huh. Oh, bye then. <laughs> bye. Like the bar. Uh, I also can't. I do. <laughs> Bad monkey. Bad. Lord Freezer demands your death. Some form of roof. No. Uh, you're in the South Ashfield Hotel. It says Hotel South Ashfield on it. Clearly, dude. I mean, I'm sorry, I can read backwards. Leave me alone, I wanted to search the fucking room. I guess I'm not allowed. What is this hell? This is trippy as fuck. Quick
Okay, we rushed into the first door. Was that the only door? So there is one more. We avoided due to being chased. Oh, no, no, there's one more door. Oh, does it just look like that due to the map? I think it just looks like that due to the map. There's not actually another door. Alright, so we... Yeah, there's nothing else in this room, just the way into the uh, sporting goods store. But yeah, I think... Uh, kind of wish there'd be some bullets or a gun or something. Okay, we're, we're going to go back. Oh, what's that? I'll just show me all the bent up health. Okay, we're obviously going to have to ditch something in our inventory when we get back. Seriously, you can't have more than a working stack of 10. Brilliant. So we're going to go back to the world, check stuff out, and then we're going to end this episode. I'm just going to check, did I actually... Oh yeah, I did unmute this game, thank god. Imagine if I hadn't unmuted it in your complete silence for the entire episode. It would embarrassing. Okay, so yeah, we're going to ditch a couple of items. I, we're not going to keep the golf club for the moment, and I don't think we need to carry two sets of bullets. I'm going to ditch you because I have the bat for the moment. I think we've covered everything. Let's just quickly do the our usual check out the door and check out the neighbour, and then we'll end this episode. A little bit longer than I wanted to, but hello. Well, I just tried to open it up, but it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside. Anyway, it's not the first time. You mean? Wasn't just him either. Something's wrong with this whole apartment. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under the door. Okay, you're weird, dude. Bye-bye! Okay, what note did he just slip me out of the door? Hey, it seriously corrupted his note. Like, damn.
That's just evil. So what are you doing, lady? Next door. Nothing, she's not there. Okay, well, save time. Uh, and then we're gonna head off. To be fair, guys, uh, let's just end the outro on the big one. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Silent Hill. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I have massively enjoyed playing. I hope you're enjoying this series uh, as we keep going through it. I'm going to start playing other games as well. Like, I've got Bioshock I want to play, Bully. Hey, some of them might already be out. You never know. I don't know because I haven't played or scheduled anything yet. This is not set to come out for weeks. So who knows what's going to happen in the future. Not this version of me, because I'm not in the future. I'm in the present. But you're watching this in the future that I have not seen yet. Hi, future people. I am past person. But anyway, we shall catch you all in the next episode. Until then, guys. Okay, okay, bye.